How we doing folks? Well, I was just doing a little more digging tonight and cleaning in the studio here. I found a couple cool things. One, this old Fender hat. It's corduroy. I've had this since like the early 80s. Can't believe I still had it. I'm digging it out. And I'm going to probably start wearing it this fall because it is pretty warm. You've, you've got to figure that corduroy is, you know, it's a little extra layer, I think. You guys remember corduroy pants when you was growing up? Wow. It was almost like a, percuss a percussive instrument or something, like a wash, you know, like you could get rhythms going when you was walking, like, right? I think they outlawed them because kid like I mean if you start running with them on you could start a fire or something right anyways I got my corduroy hat out which is pretty dope and I got this Gretsch resonator uh, man these are a lot of fun to play I mean a lot of fun to play I don't know why I don't play this more you're gonna see more of this in videos this is a Gretsch G9220. G9220. And this one's in really good shape. The end pin jack's loose. I gotta tighten that up. I just noticed that. So that's one thing. It's good to get your guitars out and look them over, guys, because stuff happens. It gets loose. These are really neat. Uh, so I'm plugged into uh, my pedal board here and I had a little, just a little touch of chorus and a little touch of delay and a little bit of reverb. And that's about it. And I'm playing through, uh, I split the off the reverb pedal into a Fender Excelsior tube amp and a Fender Vaporizer. The Excelsior is over behind me and the Vaporizer is right beside me. You probably can't see them, but that's what we're playing through. So that being said, let me uh, turn my volume pedal down. I'm going to unplug this and I'm going to play it for you unplugged so you guys can hear what it sounds like unplugged, okay? I'm going to play the same thing here. <laughs> quite a bit of volume for I mean it's a pretty narrow guitar it's not really thick and the body's not huge either but that's what makes it so nice to play it's like playing kind of feels like a toy or something you know? it's got quite a bit of volume really the neck's a little wide it's got like a v-shaped neck you know on the back of it but it doesn't feel bad it's weird I mean I'm shooting all these videos and I'm playing so many different guitars on a daily basis I don't get a chance to really get used to them you know before I shoot the video so it's kind of sketchy sometimes but you know I'm going through guitars like napkins here on these videos anyway these are a really fun guitar guys i mean you know before the elect electrified stuff this was like big you know it's like a speaker and it does have a different it's got a metallic sound to it i almost kind of related it to like a banjo kind of tone not completely but you can hear little inflections of a banjo you know, in, the, in the tone it's got the two f holes it plays really well uh well i won't beat on about it anymore it's uh 
It's got mahogany uh, back. I'm assuming the sides are too. It's hard to tell because they're they're stained. It looks like it's completely mahogany to me. And the neck as well. Uh, but it's really nice. It's you know it's double bound. It's cool looking. It's got the old. It almost looks like drummers drum wrap, you know, off old drums. Or that toilet seat perloid, you know, whatever they called it back in the day. Remember they made toilet seats that was perloid like this. All right, I won't beat around the bush no more. Let's set it on the on the floor here, and I'll give you a good look at it, guys. All right, guys, this is what we're looking at right here. Uh, as you can see, that's almost like a speaker cone in there, right? That's the resonator thing. That's how that all works. And it's got the two F holes, like I said. The neck's a little wide. It's a kind of a short, shorter feeling scale, too. I didn't measure it before this video, but it's a shorter scale. You can see it yourself right there. Count the frets, but uh, there you go. It's got the uh, perloid or drum wrap or toilet seat material on the headstock. It's got a truss rod in it too, which is cool. Um, let's flip it over and I'll show you the back real quick. Okay, here's the back now. Just at first glance through the camera lens, it's hard to see this with the blind eye, but that looks like three pieces to me. It's It looks like one, you know, two, and then the third over here to me. Without the camera, I can't see that though. It's kind of, it's kind of an illusion. Maybe it's two. It doesn't look it though. Although it does look like two brains coming together right here, which I honestly don't know. That would make it one, two, three, four pieces. I don't. I think it's more than likely two, and it looks to me like that's just grain, I guess, and it's book match so that's why it looks symmetrical okay well my apologies sometimes it's tricky to tell though isn't it on on the wood and, and stuff how many layers and pieces here you go on the on the headstock the tuners work pretty well on this too as you can see it's got a pretty pronounced v-shaped neck uh, you know that was the period I don't know if this is a, doesn't seem to be any kind of reissue, but uh, you know most of these resonators, that's kind of how it is. They're all modeled after the old ones. So all in all, a really fun guitar to play, and you know unplugged. I really enjoy playing it unplugged as much as uh, you know plugged in. It's just a lot of fun. It has a different different voice and a different character really handy in the studio too boys when you need just that one thing to stick in a recording to make it right you know what i mean <laughs> but just one more little dash of seasoning in the soup you know what i mean this can be it sometimes because it it's got such a distinct uh, sound of its own that it, it does like find its own place in a mix okay guys thanks for checking this one out i hope you're all doing good welcome to everybody that's new to the channel i hope you're all doing good too thanks for subscribing everybody uh be good and we'll talk soon see you later